Let's take a look at the oxidation numbers for the boron here in BH3, boron trihydride. And this one's a little tricky, so let's take our time with this. We have boron here and we have hydrogen. And hydrogen, that's going to be plus one with nonmetals. But boron, if we look at the periodic table, boron, that's a metalloid. So we can't really use that rule very easily here. So in this case, let's go look at the periodic table and look at the electronegativity for boron and hydrogen. So here's boron 2.04 and hydrogen 2.20. So hydrogen's a little bit more electronegative. In oxidation numbers, when we're assigning oxidation numbers, we assign the electrons to the more electronegative element. So the hydrogen will get the electrons. That's going to make it negative. And if we look at our rules right here, hydrogen will have a negative one charge with metals or when it's bonded to boron. So each hydrogen will be negative one. We have three of them. In order for this all to add up to zero, all these oxidation numbers, three times negative one, that's negative three. This has to be a positive three. So the boron here in BH3, its oxidation state is plus three. So a little bit of a tricky one there. This is Dr. V looking at the oxidation number for the boron in BH3, boron trihydride. Thanks for watching.